everybody, this is Catherine St. Pierre at Physic in Action. We are ready to start your first day on the treadmill. I want you to take your time and get to know your treadmill if you don't really know it already. If you're at the gym, I am warning you, trainers will be on your butt until they know what you're doing. Um, I used to give this 10 years ago to my students and every time they would do it at the gym, a trainer would come and tell them not to do that. So it is okay now that that fat is out, that you're doing all kinds of things on the treadmill, it will help a lot. You probably won't get harassed if you're doing this in the gym. If you're doing it at home, take your time, listen to your body. The first five minutes are the hardest um, explanation wise. It will take you a little while to get used to it. But once you get it done, done uh, a few times, you'll be able to adapt this quite well. So we're gonna start and I'm not going to speak so much because of the echo, because of the treadmill sound. So you'll have to watch. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Let's get this started. So first, get your treadmill stock started. You're going to put your speed on at two miles an hour. I know, it's slow. So if you have any issues, you should have a problem. Now, speed at two miles an hour, I very, very rarely um, work with the zero incline. Unless I'm running, I usually very rarely work with zero incline. So we're going to bring the incline up to five. Okay? So two miles an hour, five. You're going to turn to the side and you're going to have your left top foot go over your right foot. Now here the goal is to walk sideways. Avoid pretending to walk sideways, really try to have a full side walk. The longer your stride is, the slower it is. It demands a little bit more work. Now you have to keep a check on time. Now we're coming up to a minute now. Now I want your left foot to go behind you. Now this one, you will tend to mess up. It's, it's just one of those things. It's not a natural thing to do. Now, if you have nothing to hold on to, having a hand on the hip and one on the treadmill helps a lot to keep your, your straightened body. If you have something to hold on, you can literally line yourself up, okay? So, you'll notice at the beginning that you'll probably, oops, do a little trade in or something. Just keep on going what you're doing. Practice making it there. Now, Try to lengthen as much as you can your stride to avoid. Small steps will make you twist at the waist. Try to stay as smooth as you can. Large step, small step, large step, small step, large step, small step. Now I'm going to be back to you, but we're doing the same thing. Ready? Slip roll. Long steps towards the back. Avoid small stepping. Long steps towards the back. So you're working quads. You're working butt. Now we increase the speed because it's too slow. Up to. For the next 10 minutes, what we're doing is we're going to bring your speed up to three. The incline will stay at five for now. Every minute will go up by one. Long stretch.
up the incline by one. When walking on the treadmill, at first, you can hold on. If you've never done it, you will notice it feels a little strange. So you can hold on here, here, and here. Just be careful that you're not holding, walking back. You want to actually put pressure into your stride. Now, once you're going up in your incline, you will notice that your heart is going to start pounding. It's not the speed that will be much of a factor, it's more that you're going up a hill. Now, we're starting very easily, meaning you're going to have a month to get used to going uphill, or else what happens is that your shins become really aggravated. The longer your stride is, the more you're using your bum muscle. So take advantage of it long. Going up. Once more, up. For today, this week, we're not going any higher than 10 until your body gets used to doing this kind of an incline. Um, as you get better at it, we'll go higher if your treadmill allows it. We're going down. Now if at any point while you're doing a treadmill workout, you feel dizzy, lightheaded, or you feel like you're, you might vomit or throw up, you need to pause the treadmill, or at least stop it, get ready to um, sit down, change your position until it comes back to normal. Something's not right if, you, if that's happening. So just keep an eye on that as well. If there's a heart monitor, most of them do. You can hold on to see where your heart is at. You should never work at more than, let's say 85%, because you will eventually make it there, but 85% of your capacity, which is 220 minus your age is 100%. So you can do the math on that. We're going down one more. Shut down. Now this 
is your cool down speed, cool down height. You'll see that I usually have you around three and five. You can do five more minutes on here if you wanted. You can do 10 more minutes if you wanted. What I wanted out of this is that you get a progression that you're learning to adapt to a different situation than just walking straight on the We have 30 seconds to go. And that is your day one and three. We're gonna finish this puppy up with two, three stretches. So get your towel, have a drink of water, and meet me somewhere where you can stretch. Make sure you towel off if you need to. As you get going, you're gonna need it. Drink a lot of water. I'm gonna post the link to vitamin water right here. And uh, it'll spice up your water. You will need to drink very later, so get used to it. Now we're gonna do three stretches standing up. First will be your quadriceps. You can lean, I mean, if you're really good, you wanna do it on balance, go head to head. Grab your ankle, bring your knee close to the elbow on. Right there, you should feel a stretch, right when you start. If your knee's up here, bring it back. Push your foot into your hand. Three big breaths. Now what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So release, drop the other foot, bring your knees together, and push your foot into your hand. You should feel that from your knee right up into your hand. Since you've been working all that stuff, we're gonna go get it. You're gonna take your foot, you're gonna flex it on the ground. Take a big step. Stick your bum out. So now you should be getting a stretch through here. Now you listen a smaller stride to push further in. Don't push on your knee. There's no necessity for that. Bum out, press, toes up. Now we're gonna do your calves. So you can use a wall just to press against. It gives you a, a better angle to it. One foot forward, one foot back, press into the wall. One more breath. Good. Other foot. And that's it for today. See you tomorrow.